Set amid parkland in the heart of Northamptonshire's rolling countryside, Toaster Racecourse truly is one of the most picturesque tracks in the country. Great record at Toaster. Why do you like bringing horses here? Oh, it's a lovely track to introduce a horse to. Um, it's a very fair track, really, and it's a it's a good stiff track. You know, it suits uh, long distance staying horses very well, really, and it's a great place to start them off. And everything, the ground, they do a great job here. Facilities are first class, so um, no reason not to come. Undulating track and stiff finish. Not only does it make Toaster a real test for horse and jockey, but it also provides thrilling finishes, which are a real spectacle for the race goer. Dickie, Toaster's pretty unique. Tell us what it's like to ride. Um, it, it's, it's a very good course, um, but obviously you need a horse that stays very well. It's obviously a really stiff finish. Um, but it's a great national hunt track, um, and it suits you know it suits it suits a horse that stays well. And obviously in the winter it's always cold here, but um, you know it's always great great atmosphere, and um, no, it's a great place to come racing. I think people watching at home will think the hill starts in the straight, but it doesn't really. No, I say you know it's it's sort of almost in two halves really. You, you you're sort of running downhill um, as soon as you pass the winning post, um, and then it flattens out down the back straight, and then you literally as soon as you end, end of the back straight, it's it's uphill all the way to the winning post. So it's yeah, nearly half the track is is uphill. So um, you, again you need a horse that stays really well um, and when it gets soft here it, it really does get very soft so um, again stamina is probably the most important thing you need. for the viewers exactly what Toaster is like stiff <laughs> in one word um, I mean I think Carlisle from my riding days I always remember had very few rides around Carlisle I always used to think that was pretty testing and here in comparison I mean people I hope you do get a good impression of it from the TV but the hill obviously it starts to climb before the third last the open ditch and continues to climb watching racing on TV you, you tend to think the horses turn for home, the commentator makes it the second last that the course levels out. And actually, as you can see, you keep climbing way up past the winning post. So we're talking probably best part of four furlongs. Um, and anything long, any race over two miles, you're coming up the full extent of the hill twice, which um, makes it pretty testy. Which trainers and jockeys are the best to look out for here? Um, I think this. I think this during this last wet winter, I'm going to have to say Venetia Williams has had a field day, but that goes for most courses. She's had a tremendous year because she does tend to have her form goes up when when there's really wet wet conditions. Um, jockey wise, I'm going to obviously AP when we can get the champion here. He, he seems to ride winners, um, but often there's a variety. Robin Dickens has we we frame the races around his string. I think last year was one of his comments because he was here with four or five runners every fixture. But um, everybody takes their turn. We like we like to attract everybody. Robin, over the years I've seen you here quite a lot. Why do you like bringing horses to Toaster? Um, it's always been a good hunting ground for us, and it's fairly local to us anyway. Uh, and there's the severity of the hill, it's a, very much a stayer's track. How do you find the crowd too? Well, the crowd, yeah, the toaster roar. Well, uh, I think it's great the initiative of the track to, uh, I, I believe you do pay to enter today, but they have so many meetings where there's no entry, which is encouraging people to come racing. And, of course, that creates the atmosphere, and all my owners love coming here, and I have to say I, I give toaster a big thumbs up here. Yeah. the year, Toaster hosts a range of premier fixtures, including the very popular Ladies' Night, the Boxing Day meeting, and today it's Easter Fun Day. Matt, with your many hats on as a reporter-presenter, how would you describe Toaster? I think it's just a proper 
National Hunt track, National Hunt crowd on a sunny day, one of the most beautiful tracks you'll ever get. Terrific newish grandstand as well. I just think you get a knowledgeable National Hunt crowd and this is real grassroots racing. You might not get the kind of horses that you get at the Cheltenham Festival, but you get people who understand the National Hunt game and I think it's a great day. If you were thinking of a track to come, maybe your first visit to the National Hunt racing world, there are two tracks I love. Uh, Newton Abbott is one and this is the other. And then between races, you can relax and enjoy the excellent facilities with your family and friends, whether it's in the restaurant or here in the private boxes. There's not many tracks that have that local country friendly feel, yet you have a high class of facility too. I think we, we've got the right balance here. I mean, as, you, as you're aware, the majority of fixtures are, are free admission. And what we try and do is obviously cater for everybody. So you've got the general public who can get in for free. And rather than charge people to get in, we felt it was far more prudent to clip the ticket when they actually come through the door rather than on the door themselves. And we find it creates a great atmosphere here. And obviously our, our corporate hospitality and, and, and normal hospitality facilities are, are, are state of the art, that's for sure. You charge for a few of the premier fixtures. How does that work? We do. I mean, we got to a point where it was just it was crazy. It was like Boxing Day, you'd get over 10,000 people here and it would everything would be bursting at the seams. So I, I think it was just a, a simple, you know, economics of demand and supply. We felt that we could charge for that meeting. We only, we only charge £10 for the actual meetings themselves. So we charge on Boxing Day, Easter Sunday and a few of our premier evening meetings as well. But the, the rest of the fixtures are free. I think we've got a great catchment area here. I think because of the investment that's gone into the place, I think people have a real good affection for Toaster Racecourse and, and what we've done here in terms of improving the facilities. And I think, like I said, we've got a great catchment with Milton Keynes just down the road and Northampton as well. And, it, you know, it's a great area for people who love their racing and love to get out and support local sporting venues. Outside of racing, what does Toaster have to offer? Well, it, it's like many race courses. We try and diversify as much as we can. And we, we do conferences, we do weddings. Um, we pretty much will do anything. We'll consider anything. You know, um, I mean, we've had the World Hovercraft Championships here. We've had running events here. It's, you know, very, very varied in terms of what we do. Away from racing, Kevin, how do you think Toaster will diversify in the future, looking at the long term? I think looking at the long term, we... We have to do something in terms of looking at other options to sweat the asset and use the facility far more than we currently do. Obviously, we race 17 times a year and we, we do conferences, we do weddings. Um, very much the plan is to move into Greyhound racing as well, which is a great opportunity for us to utilise the facility far more. Um, obviously, as you mentioned earlier, we've got a great hospitality crowd here and people who are, are staunch supporters of the toaster. And I think that can only help when we, we open up the Greyhound track in the future. How about on the business side? Do you do much corporate entertaining here? We do. I mean, we, we have a number of big clients. We have Home Retail Group. Um, who obviously have a um, home base in Argos under their uh, umbrella. We have HSBC here, Santander. Um, we have a number of big sort of multinational companies. I mean, recently we just had Google here, so we do have a lot of corporate events as well. I think we're dealing with a far more discerning public now. I think they're public who know what they want and, and want value for money. And I think it's a simple case of you've got to move with the times or else you'll lag behind. And I think we've very much tried to embrace that. Obviously, as I've already mentioned, there's been huge investment here and we're very, very conscious of staying ahead of times and making sure that we give and deliver value for money, whether that be the quality of food that we, we present and also the quality of service as well. To find out more about how you could enjoy a great day out of one of the most picturesque race courses in the country, visit the website www.toaster-racecourse.com. Toaster-racecourse.co.uk